let's talk about puberty. In girls, puberty is the stage of life when a girl's body changes to make her physically able to have children. And this means you'll experience major physical changes. Some you can see and some you cannot. Puberty usually happens between the ages of 9 and 14, but everyone is different. We all grow and change at different rates and there's nothing you can do to make it happen sooner or later. Your body will change when it's ready. The pituitary gland, located at the base of the brain, starts to produce hormones that in turn trigger the ovaries to produce the primary female hormones, estrogen and progesterone. These hormones are responsible for the changes that you can see in your body, such as growing taller, breasts and hips getting bigger, hair grows on your body, especially in the pubic area and under your arms. Vaginal discharge begins. This is normal. It's your vagina's way of keeping clean and healthy. The discharge should be colourless or white and shouldn't smell. Spots and sweat appear. That is just what you can see on the outside. But there are also changes on the inside. Because the reproductive organs and the ovaries, uterus and vagina are on the inside of the body. Your periods will start at some point during puberty. Every month, a girl's body goes through a complex cycle called the menstrual cycle, designed to make it possible to have a baby one day if they want to. During your menstrual cycle, the ovary, the left and right ovaries take turns, will release an egg or ovum. This is called ovulation, and it happens every 28 days or so. At birth, you have approximately one million eggs. And by the time you reach puberty, only about 300,000 remain. Of these, 300 to 400 will be ovulated during a woman's reproductive lifetime. The egg enters the fallopian tube and travels down toward the uterus. In the meantime, the uterus has been developing its lining, the endometrium. A fertilized egg will settle into the thick spongy lining and begin to grow a baby. During ovulation, your vaginal discharge may change volume and texture. If fertilization hasn't taken place, this means if a sperm, the male reproductive cell, hasn't fertilized the egg, pregnancy doesn't occur, and the egg breaks down and the lining of the uterus isn't needed. As a result, hormone levels drop, causing the lining to also break down and leave the body. This is the menstrual flow, and it leaves the body through the vagina. The flow is a reddish or brownish fluid made up of some blood along with other liquid and tissue. It usually leaves the body in small amounts in drips. This whole process is an ongoing cycle and is measured from the first day of one period to the first day of the next period. The average menstrual cycle lasts about 28 days, but it can be short as 21 days or as long as 35 days. The average period lasts five days, but they can range from two to seven days, and a girl can expect to lose about four to 12 teaspoons of fluid, half of which is blood. Usually girls lose 90% of this fluid in the first three days of their period, and after that, the flow becomes much lighter and then stops completely until the next period comes along. Your periods probably won't be regular for about the first two years or so, you might have your first period, then not have another period for months. There's no such thing as normal. Don't panic if your experience is different from other girls. In fact, it may take up to two or three years for your body to settle into its regular cycle. Whether regular or not, it's always useful to keep track of your cycle. You could keep a menstrual calendar, recording when your period starts and how you're feeling each day to help you avoid unwanted surprises. Remember, puberty is something everyone goes through and it's not something to be embarrassed about. If you have any further questions, ask a teacher or chat to a trusted adult.